Hi Capricorn and welcome to Arcana Priestess. For those of you that are new, welcome and if you're returning, I'm so glad to have you. So this is going to be a prediction for Capricorn placements, December. Show me what Capricorn needs to see for the month of December, please. Six of Wands. I love this for you guys. Okay, so starting off very strong, especially when it comes to, it's like, it's like all eyes on you. This is like front and front and center. You really are shining. You really are. This is like a trailblazer. You're setting your way. You're paving the way for others. This is you following your path and being so passionate about what you do and drawing. It's like, this is when you know what's coming before it comes and. That kind of confidence is unlike any other. This kind of confidence inspires others. So your work inspires others, whether this is words. Some of you I'm hearing this is poetry. This is through your words. This is through your, you know, this is one of your five senses. Whether you're a chef, you appeal to people's tastes. You appeal to the smell. Whether you, you know, maybe you make perfumes, you appeal to just the smell. Whether it's clothing, you appeal to the eye whatever it is that you do photography there is this energy where you just have this essence and you're finally being noticed you're finally being recognized for this here you are taking a leap of faith you are leaps of faith leaps of faith are definitely um recommended they are that is exactly what you should be doing during the month of december so opportunities say yes I just heard say yes to the dress. Some of you guys, there's a date offer. There's a date on the, this could be that you meet somebody through a wedding that um, you get invited to. You may get an invitation in the month of December, find out that somebody is getting married in the month of December. And um, whenever that wedding is, you may meet someone. This is the wedding card, the four of wands. Stunning energy, rose quartz, amethyst, clear quartz, smoky quartz, citrine. These are all the crystals that are going to be like screaming your name. If you do not work with the energy of the moon, this is something that you need to start doing. Um, Those of you that have your moon cycles, it's definitely important for you to keep track of your moon cycles. Maybe have a diary, a tracker, whatever it is. You will notice something. Use that time to create, use that time to reflect. So maybe there's a huge contract coming in here whether this is through, whether this is a life partnership contract or whether this is like some sort of career contract. This could be a four year contract. Big opportunities, this is like life changing moments. Like maybe you never thought you would get to the moment where you could say like, where do we go from here? Like I have what everything I want, where do I go from here? But like you are so close to that. And from where you're sitting right now, it makes no sense. But from above, it makes a lot of sense. I'm hearing it's all up from here. Some of you like this is like you're not going to be single for long like this is like say goodbye to your singlehood to the six of wands to the um four, to the four of wands like you may be getting into a long-term relationship which you have no idea but this could be the person that you spend your life with or some of you guys the person that you're with you're like they're gonna ask for your hand in marriage in a sense so with that being said like you will not be single anymore contract And I feel like this is coming out of left field. It's definitely gonna be unexpected for a lot of you guys. 
there's a quote and it's like, life is so subtle, sometimes you don't see yourself walking through doors that you once only imagined would open. And it is so true. There's so many things that I accomplished that at one point I never would have ever thought I would even have the, like the risk, I would ever take the risk to try for. Okay, this is too good to be true. This is too good to be true. I have been reading a lot about Capricorn and Capricorn's energy and the energy shift and how it's been so much stuff. And it's true, like honestly, Capricorns really, you guys don't really get the nicest, most, you know, beautiful energies. It's always heavy stuff. Okay, so yeah, like your energy is usually, it just seems like there's always so much so much that's bringing you down that's holding you down and i feel like that's just finally being lifted here it's like finally you get to blast forward and it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing i definitely feel there's this energy of long-term relationships coming into your life best friends partnerships soul sisters um brothers brotherhood like you are really really creating sacred bonds around this time People that you have, somebody that you met in the um, past two weeks here, you're gonna create a, like a sisterhood with. It's somebody who you definitely shared a past life relationship with. Like you were definitely um, sisters, best friends, cousins, whatever the case was in a past life here. And they're, they're coming into your life. They have gone through very similar experiences to you. You will be able to help heal each other, help get each other to the next levels of your life. So you will feel very uplifted in this person's energy. You'll be able to tell them anything and if you don't feel that with anybody in your life right now then this is an energy that hasn't come in that will come in some of you this is like twin flame energy meeting a twin flame this is gonna be one of those magical connections that you, i mean this is i mean are you kidding me the six of wands four of wands a two of cups like those are your first three cards. This is stunning energy. I mean, happy, happy, and happy. It's all unbelievable. It's all unbelievable. You're not really going to know how to handle this, how to take it. Those of you that have sisters, um, good time to reach out to your sister, spend a little bit more time, check in on your sister. We have the tower. What's with the tower? The three of pentacles. Okay, so there's definitely gonna be like a crash in your plans. So whatever it is that you're like thinking that you're gonna want, that you're expecting out of life, definitely it seems like you are going to come into the road of you matching with what you're aligned to have. And it takes you off the path of what you think you're supposed to, where you think you're supposed to go. So there's gonna be this energy of having to let go of exactly how you think you're gonna get where you wanna be, because you're gonna get there. The path just isn't gonna look the way that you're expecting. So maybe there was some sort of ending, some sort of tower moment that had happened in the month of November that is leading you towards all of this. You may still be in this moment of trying to rebuild yourself from that tower, not yet fully healed from it. So you may not see all of this amazing energy that's coming towards you if you um, are still not fully healed from this tower moment. But whatever the tower moment was or whatever the tower moment is, if you haven't experienced it yet, it looks like you will learn this lesson. So you will not have to experience anything similar to this moving forward. For a lot of you, it definitely had to do with trusting your intuition, the lack of trusting intuition. With that one, I would definitely say my not today, Satan, the sage wand. This would be the perfect one for you guys. Um, and then also this one, I'm not sure what the name is, what I have it as. I think this one's under Ascension maybe, but it's the one that has the, am or the, the amethyst, the palo, the sage, and the lavender. You feel free to choose whichever you are called to, if any at all, but those are just the recommendations based off of the energy of this reading. devil this is you
any hopes of being with somebody that wasn't meant to be in your life, they're going to be released. It's going to be released. You are going to have no choice but to move forward. And what forward looks like, you have no idea, but you're going to suddenly feel more excited about the fact that you have no idea rather than scared because you have no idea. You are given a golden opportunity. You are about to be given a golden opportunity that will enhance your life for the next three years. You are going to be called to be a little bit more selfish than usual during this time. You really have to choose yourself. You really have to live based off of what you want, what you value, what benefits you most. look at some of these yeah we have the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck with this big huge beautiful um tower and then or not tower yeah tower this is what i was going to the towers to be honest i mean yes i would say the rose quartz is going to be the perfect energy for you then there's also howlet but then even just a uh, citrine tower for a lot of you guys um, some of you, it's about simply placing four of them in the four corners of your home. This could be, the, you know, the four actual corners that complete your home or the four corners in the room that you spend the most time. It completely depends on you. But with this judgment here, the Knight of Cups judgment, releasing an old love automatically brings in a new love. But also there is a new, there is an old love that you have got over that you are about to get over that will decide to come back into your life. But you know what I mean? Like exactly where no words came out at that point, that's how your reaction should be to this person. Like nothing to say. You are definitely going to be expanding. You're going to be growing. The way that you view the world is going to change you are going to shine you're going to put your own little sparkle on who it is that you are and the world is going to love you for that and so is this knight of this knight of cups who is going to be a very interesting surprise for you <laughs> that is so bad wow i definitely think that um <clears throat> You are definitely going to enhance your intimate life throughout the month of December. You are going to um, tap into a side of you or find a side of you that no, you never knew existed. Maybe even somebody will tap into part of you that you didn't know existed as well. But that's a, that's a story for another day. That is what I have for you guys. Um, with that being said, I definitely feel like you are the zodiac sign that I feel I'm going to do the extended reading for. So this with this energy ending off, like I definitely have to get more into your love life. So we're going to do a love extended. So for anybody who wants to know more about their love life for the month of, I feel like this is going to be more of like a, from when you see it till around February, March love energy then the extended will be in the description box and we will show a preview in a moment. Thank you guys so much. I wish you all of the best. Crystals, personal readings, 2022 forecasts that are only available till December 15th. All of that information is in the description box below. Take care, love. Bye.